Sydney police made a breakthrough in a fight against car remote jamming syndicates with the arrest of four suspects on Brickfield Road this week. The suspects were found in possession of car remotes as well as other jamming equipment. It is understood that the equipment was used to gain access to motorist cars and steal laptops, cell phones and other valuables. Shopping centres are primarily targeted. It is understood that car remote jamming is a growing problem in and around Durban. Uh, the common occurrence is that people get out of their car. Um, so the car would be unlocked. Right, so the car's okay. unlocked now, right? If you just come to your parking, you get out your car, but in essence you've got somebody standing at a distance, pressing a gate remote. You think you're locking your car and you walk away, but it's actually been jammed now. Nah, okay, so I'm going to try and lock the car, right? You'll lock it. You won't be able to lock because this frequency is jamming the transmission. But you'll notice as soon as I release this, you'll be able to lock the car. Sydney police say that they hope for more arrests to be made and to eradicate the problem of car remote jamming in the near future. We're having incidences almost every day. Uh, people, drivers are adamant that they've locked their car, but um, unfortunately they were jammed. So again, the request, just physically check before you leave that your door is locked.